Hello, my name is Stephen Redman. Welcome to this episode of Pastor's Library. This is the channel where we discuss all things to do with theological books, a book on your pastor or minister's library, a book on the reading list for bachelor's or master's degrees, um, or just something that would tempt the palate of a theology nerd. Um, I just want to uh, help you, and if I can, please leave a message underneath. It would be great to have ideas for future sessions. Um, if you like what you hear today, please uh, click on uh, the thumb up and uh, click on the bell and subscribe if you want to know every time we launch another Pastor's Library episode. So today I want us to talk about a particular author. Um, I'm, I've got a Bible in my hands right now, a uh, nice, thick, heavy, leather-bound Bible um, that's uh, a great uh, book from God, and um, I'm going to talk to you about God. Uh, well, actually, no, I'm going to talk about the person who translated this Bible. His name is Eugene Peterson, and of course, most people know him as the author of The Message. The Message. Now, Eugene Peterson did a lot more than give us a translation of the Bible. And can I just point out to you, some people say the message is a paraphrase. It's not a paraphrase. It is a translation from the original Greek and Hebrew. Um, Eugene Peterson was a great scholar of ancient biblical languages and he also fielded out his translations to a team of other people for their comments and made alterations suitably. Um, Gordon Fee, the writer of How to Choose a Translation for All It's Worth, makes it quite clear that the message is indeed a translation. Uh, what the message is, of course, is it delivers uh, its, uh, the message of the Bible into um, street American, uh, aimed at about the turn of this century. And even now, it probably isn't quite as in date as it was then, but it definitely gives an insight on the Word of God. And whereas I would never only want the message in my Bible collection, I do refer to it regularly, and I find it very helpful when preaching. Uh, so Eugene Peterson was on my radar as a Bible translator. Uh, but I very quickly find out, found out that he was a, prof a profuse author. Um, you can see some of his books on this uh, bookcase next to me, or all of the ones that are written by him. In fact, he's, he's been dead a couple of years now and he's still writing. Um, I've got um, a book ordered to come out in November this year, uh, pre-ordered it, and um, he's still, there are still works of his that the publishers are um, uh, rendering uh, ready for use. I think it's all also worth saying that a guy named Collier has written a biography of Peterson, um, which is a really excellent um, biography. Um, he had access to Peterson uh, before he died, and um, he was known to Peterson, if you like, Peterson gave him the job because he trusted him. And you'll see a very uh, non-public side of Eugene Peterson, uh, warts and all, uh, but um, you, will, you will read this coming out with the idea that Peterson really was a man of God who, um, did, who put Jesus first in, in all his, his life. Uh, so uh, whereas I'm not talking about that, particularly today, it is a worthwhile investment. Now, here you will find a number of books you may not realise existed. For example, there is a three-way concordance for the message, uh, which um, gives you words, phrase and synonyms, and um, uh, is a very helpful um, con concordance if you are not um, web-friendly, uh, if, if you don't have Bible software that, that will do this for you. It's, it's a useful book. Um, there are just loads of really brilliant books that he wrote. Um, possibly one of the best known 
is a long obedience in the same direction. And, and this is about discipleship. And Eugene Peterson uh, was a professor of theology. Uh, he was a profound author. He never, he, he never wasn't writing a book. But above all, he was a pastor. And you will find um, a lots of his books keep coming back to the idea of discipleship. Um, and this, this is an excellent one to offer anybody to read. What I would say to you about Peterson is his books are like a comfy old chair. It's, it's too comfortable to throw out, but it just seems like it's looking old and tacky in the corner. But once you sit in it, oh, it's the place to be. It's like a hot bath after a hard day at work. It's just a really excellent concept. And Peterson's words are like this. He, he's almost a poet in the way he writes. I mean, when you read uh, some of the Old Testament that he's, he's, he's put out on the page in, in stanzas, it, it's quite easy for him as a person to relate to poetry because he thinks that way. He, he's absolutely brilliant. And he was a huge reader himself. And that comes out in his writing. Um, that's, a good com that's a good one to read, A Long Obedience in the Same Direction. Uh, there are uh, a number of other book books, like, for example, um, Christ Plays in 10,000 Places. Some of the titles for these books are quite obscure, but as you get into them, you understand. This is about 21st century theology. And it's, it's a worthwhile read. Um, here are some other excellent ones. Uh, Working the Angles. Now, I found this incredibly challenging to read. It's about pastoral integrity. And believe me, you really need to read this if you're in the pastoral ministry. Um, the Art of Spiritual Direction comes up in another one of his books. Um, it's called The Contemplative Pastor. And uh, he, he, like I say to you, he was a pastor and he wrote a lot of books for pastors. Um, this one is, uh, you'll probably latch on to immediately uh, what the title comes from, but Under the Unpredictable Plant. And this is about vocational holiness. And again, very challenging read uh, for anyone in ministry of any sort. Um, Lots of other books there. Um, the Hallelujah Banquet was published after his death. And um, uh, this is um, a not a difficult read at all. It's, I, I wouldn't like to guess what the word count is, but it won't be massive. But they, they dressed it up nicely, put it in a nice sleeve in a hardbound case. Uh, it's, it's a good book and it will talk to you about how you can grow. And um, it's a series of sermons that have been converted to a book. And again, excellent. I sat down with this and immediately my highlighter pen was out. I had to get my journal out and jot down some ideas. Uh, Eugene Peterson always speaks to me, particularly when I'm relaxed. If I'm not relaxed, when I start reading him, I very soon relax. He was a great author, he really was. Um, there is so much in his catalogue that I could ad um, advise you to buy, but if you only bought one book by Peterson, I would recommend Reverse Thunder, which is about um, the revelation of St. John, about, about the book of Revelation. I had been brought up on dispensationalism, which I was very dubious about. And then when I was about 30, I realised it was absolute rubbish, but I still wasn't quite sure what was right. And this was one of the books, actually, that really helped me focus on understanding Revelation in the context of when it was written, trying to understand it as uh, John and his disciples and his fo the followers of Jesus understood it at that time. And this is an absolutely brilliant book. It isn't a commentary per se on Revelation, 
but it really opens the pages and it helps you see some of the glory that John saw. I totally recommend this book, Reverse Thunder by Eugene Peterson. Um, there are um, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I've got about 35 books by him, but they're, they're all worth a read. Anything you see with his name on the spine is an excellent read. Um, Practice Resurrection um, is about growing up in Christ. Now, he'll often use in the title or the subtitle the word conversation because Peterson was a pastor and he wanted to have a conversation with you. He, he wasn't, didn't want to preach at you. He wanted to talk to you. And uh, that's what he does here. And uh, an excellent book on spiritual growth. You'll notice we've kept talking about discipleship, spiritual growth, ideas like this. These are what was in the pastor's heart. And um, um, he's got another good book, Living the Resurrection, uh, which is a similar concept to the one I've just mentioned to you, but a very good um, idea too. So uh, you'll also find some of his books have workbooks associated with them, uh, books that you can use as study guides. And uh, that's also useful. So some of those, of course, um, are not written by him. They're written, a student of his, he's given the job of writing them, but they are uh, part of the suite of Eugene Peterson books. So um, when his stuff stops being printed, I don't know when that will be, but at this moment in time, uh, your Eugene Peterson library cannot be quite complete. But what I would say to you is he is much more than a Bible translator and he has a lot to offer. And if you like Dallas Willard, you're bound to like Eugene Peterson. Um, he, he is just a really excellent guy and he is brilliant at pastoring pastors. And if you're fit into one of those categories, you know too, it's worth a read. So I commend Eugene Peterson to you. Um, he's got a whole wide shelf in my library and maybe he might do in yours one day too. Um, if you've enjoyed this, remember to give us a thumbs up, uh, click subscribe and click on the bell and you'll be the first to know when we launch the next episode of Pastor's Library. God bless you. Bye.